Forget the jobs for a moment. I just said but then before, how do you do it? The Bible says, he who has the two coats, give them to the poor. Well, you're talking about the world tomorrow. And if you have a feast, Give them meat also. You're talking about a world tomorrow after the second coming of Jesus. You're talking no, about I'm the talking ideal. talking about what God says you should do. Well, the Republicans... If you have the moolah. That's your job. Well, I guess the gover I guess the, re the, the conservatives rather pour billions into the uh, Pentagon, into the military. Exactly. And pour billions or trillions into welfare for the rich and bailouts. Exactly. So that's why you know that they are not serious about cutting government. They are only serious about cutting, and guess what the next article is about? What? Food stamps! Let me ask you a quick question. Uh, the money wasted on the Iraq war by the Bush administration. Trillions! Would that have solved a lot of problems with the poor and the middle class in America? Did you not see the figure I gave in the new newsletter? At this particular time in history, it would take $135 billion to take every American out of poverty. So you spent trillions in Iraq. End of story. You hear that, people? You hear that? If, you, if you're going to remember any part of this show this week, this this week, this segment that you just heard, burn it in your brain. But guess who did? Who the Iraq War did make rich? Oh, the old geezers in Washington. The private Chain, contractors. Private contractors. Dick Cheney made made bucks. Halliburton. Halliburton. Yeah. Yeah. War profiteering. Okay, this is the last, and most likely a very applicable reading for this week's progress. A temporary increase in food stamp benefits expires October 31st. Meaning that for millions of Americans the benefits that help put food on the table won't stretch as far as they have for the past four years. They're not they're not elastic they're not that elastic to begin with. Yeah. Food stamp Formerly the Supplemental Nutrition Assistance Program, or SNAP. Not SNAP, that's saying I got the power back in that day. All right, SNAP. Go to 47 million Americans in a month. Almost half of them are children and teenagers. Yeah, the same children that Newt Gingrich wanted to put to work. Yeah, well, hey, they're going to they're gonna be janitors, baby! Yeah, it's child labor janitors to pay for the chicken feed food stamps that their mothers get. Yeah. Every week is a struggle, as it is, said Heidi Leno, 43, who lives in Concord with her husband. Concord, Massachusetts? Nine-year-old daughter and five-year-old twins. I've been to, I've been there. We hate living paycheck to paycheck. And you have to decide what gets paid. Starting in 2009, the federal stimulus pumped $45.2 billion into SNAP, increasing what would have been a monthly benefit of $588 a month to $668 for an average household of four. In November, that same family will start getting $632 a month. About a 5% cut. The benefits, which go to one in seven Americans, fluctuate based on factors including food prices, inflation, and income. That's a bunch of bullshit, because the prices of food are way up and they're getting a cut. No sense being made, but, but, Paul Ryan got his 5% cut in food stamps, didn't he? Four billion dollars. 40 billion over 10 years. That's why the cut came into effect. Including for veterans, wow. like, like we were talking before with Billy Morrow, the poor Rudy veterans. Everybody, across the board. Yeah. But, of course, 
these congressmen and senators and their families will be living high on the hog continuously, continually uh, uh, eating the best organic food imaginable. You those people on the dole in Washington? Yeah. yeah. Who, by the way, oh, shameful, shameful. There were no towels in the, in the uh, athletic rooms in Washington with the shutdown. Oh, really? Yeah, you had to go in there and weight lift and et cetera, but there were no towels to dry off. You had to bring your own. I guess so. Well, what is it, BYOT? Bring, bring your own towel. Bring your own booze. Bring your own towel. <laughs> towels are cheap. They got them in a the dollar store, for God's sakes. You know, uh, like Towelie says on South Park, always bring a towel. He also says you want to get high. He's an animated towel that smokes marijuana nonstop. Uh, uh, animated towel? Yeah, he's a, it's a cartoon towel that talks. It's an adult cartoon, like Family Guy. Oh, uh, I just want to give another one because I think he's, he's just a great guy. Moonbeam Brown, Moonbeam Jerry Brown, uh, by making industrial hemp, industrial hemp in the state of California legal. And of course, Jesse Ventura's brand new <coughs> official Facebook page. All right, that is it. Thank you for joining us for this week's Progressive Discussions. And um, what can I say? Uh, the seasons, time flies, the seasons are flying by fast, the weeks fly by fast, and uh, it's just incredible um, it, how, just how short the seasons really are for us people living in the north. I mean, you know, in terms of spring and summer, really, they go fast. So you enjoy it while it's here. Live in the present, make the best of what you have. Uh, don't get me wrong, uh, spring and summer are, are nice, but uh, autumn is my favorite time of year. And uh, I think the holidays of autumn are fun. I think uh, the foliage, you know, the peaking autumn leaves are very beautiful. Autumn leaves. Autumn leaves. <laughs> It's an old song, and they have the the leaves are falling. That's the sound of leaves falling. But I make it sound like a turkey. Okay, that's it. Ah, say so. Oh, the paintings are not done yet. No, I can't okay. get to work on okay, paintings. Okay. I'm too involved with political stuff. Otherwise, I would show them to the to the pubic. You I know, mean, the public. Well, the one is done. Which one? The top one. This one? Top one. Really? Why don't you yeah. say something, you jabroni? Because I didn't sign it yet. But it's done. It's done. All right. Davy says, call it done. No, don't listen to what Davy says. You call it done when it's done. It, when you say it's done. It, Dave is an, uh, a professional. Is it done? Dave is a professional. No, I mean the water. Is the water... I wouldn't be working much on the water, even if it weren't good. Uh, the only thing I would work uh, on is the left-hand side. You gotta, you gotta get some tips from Ian on how to do water. You know what I mean? Water waves, you know, the foam. There's no waves in there. Well, it's a, it's, it's a, a creek. There, yeah, but it's, it's a, it's a, it's a rapidly moving creek. It's a creek. All right, the creek. By William J. Eisenman. I think it's called. Um, what the hell is it called? It's a watercolor painting. Rocky Creek. Rocky Creek. Uh, Rolling Rock Beer from Rocky Pennsylvania. Creek. Remember, is that it's Pennsylvania Company, right? Rolling Rock Beer. I don't know. Green bottle. Right. That's all I know. Yeah, it's a green bottle. All right, you see it? Green little bottle. Is it visible? Yeah. You seen it? All right. The new painting. For, from this week that will be added to the to the collection William J. Eisenman collection of fine watercolor art what the hell alright say so long to these people goodbye people <laughs>